they were it's a continuation of the fence project that I had in the previous video um, so it starts with getting this fence out of the back of the truck when I loaded it it was me and some other young much bigger person than me that loaded it in um, and it was a struggle he had a forklift <laughs> no he didn't um, part of the problem or challenge is, is that in the back of my truck I have this bed rug uh, it's not an actual rug, but it's uh, like a fiberglass type material, and it's um, it's really durable, but things don't slide on it so easy. So getting this big bale of wire out of here is a challenge. Um, so what I plan to do is I'll put a pipe down through the middle of it. <clears throat> I'll lift it up, and I'm going to have Karen put a piece of sheet of plywood underneath. Hopefully we'll be able to slide it on the plywood till we get it out to the end here, and then we'll be able to tip it off the back of the tailgate. So <laughs> either this is going to work successfully, or it's going to be a widely hilarious video. So let's see what happens. Terrific. I tried to turn it so that we could just roll it out. It wouldn't fit. So now that we have it out, I can put it in the front of the tractor and carry it carry it in the bucket. Step is going to be laying this out and tying it up and nailing it down. Okay. Some area for the dog and the goats coming into the barn.
if we can move this fence into position. I cut it. So I don't know if I'm in the halfway spot here, but I figure if we put what I think is a halfway spot down there where that middle stake is, that's about halfway around. One half like this will go to that side, the other half will go to the upper side. On the corners, it goes on the outside, but along the straight parts, the sides and the back, it goes inside. That way, if a goat or a dog or something is pushing on it, the stake is going to be there to hold it back. But on the corner, it's going to want to wrap around the outside to, to give it some strength. <clears throat> I don't know if we can lift it either. Keeper. Alright, so we've got all the fence put up roughly around the perimeter. Now I'm going to throw some staples on one side of it, right into the barn. Then I'm going to get my tractor and come along out. I'll stretch it down one side and attach it all down. And then I'll keep doing that side by side until I get all three sides done. Hey everybody, Bill here from Twin Tears Homestead. We're back at the fence today. It's a little bit nicer day out than yesterday. So we're gonna stretch these last two sides and tack them in. So uh, we'll just go over the details of what I'm trying to do here. So I've sandwiched the fence in between a couple of two by fours. And then I've hooked that to a come along. And that come along is hooked to the back of the tractor. So as I tighten up this come along, it's gonna stretch that fence down there. Billy's gonna be on the inside to help us make sure that uh, the fence doesn't get caught up on any of the ribs. You don't have to pull it, just make sure it doesn't get caught. Go ahead and let it go, Billy. Billy, you want my gloves? So that tightened up quite tight because we're pulling it, pulling it all this way. I think we're gonna be okay. Billy, I'm gonna pull it one more time. 
Just watch this post right here, okay? How's that seem? Good. All right. All right, so we're gonna clip this fence up and we'll be back in just a little bit.